Hello, my name is David Robinson. I'm a professor here at Los Angeles Trade Technical College. I'm here to talk to you about my experience with Facebook and using it in the classroom. About four years ago, we had a program called First Year Experience. And we wanted to have the students interact with each other with multimedia. And we used Facebook and developed a group where the students could chat and find out what assignments they have, what the homework they missed, or if there was a lecture, they want to know something about that, they could find it. Then I realized I could do other things with it, and I started making demonstration videos. That way, if I demonstrated wire splicing, then I made a video on it. Once I did the live demonstration and a student had a question about how to do a certain wire splice, I could just run the video in the classroom on the screen, or the student could actually watch it at home. So I did videos on knot tying, conduit bending, reading a meter, wire splicing, how to wire their boards, uh, just general things that came up uh, in the classroom, constantly having those questions. And by doing the videos, it cut down on a lot of my time having to re-show things and repeat things and giving more time with one-on-one -on -one with the students. And the students also liked it. And then I took it another step further and with help of uh, my IT man Alex at Trade Tech, we also put in the uh, PowerPoint presentations that I developed so that the students, even though they see the PowerPoint in class, when they got home they could review the PowerPoint one more time, two more times at their leisure. And I think it's helped a lot with student success. Uh, the students enjoy being able to see those things and I see the interaction with the students. Students send me questions on Facebook, are we having a test tomorrow? What was that homework assignment? And because I always have my Facebook page open on my computer, I periodically check it to make sure I've answered all their emails or questions and um, it's just worked really well for me. What really worked well with the whole group is it was the last day of the semester and the students had already gone home and I got a call from my dean and she says, okay, we want to do a lighting class. Recruit the students. Well, the students were all gone. So I went onto Facebook, I posted a notification to all my student friends and everyone in my group, telling them about the class and that night the class was full. So it worked really well, not just for the students, but for the college. Another thing I've seen in my classroom is uh, one student may be watching a, a video and it's, it's tied up and another student wants to watch something else and they just get on their iPhone, go to the Facebook page and they'd watch whatever video they wanted while someone else was watching the video in the classroom. So the interconnectability of using Facebook is amazing. Being able to view it at home is, is another plus. The first year experience project allows the students and the instructor an opportunity to create an interactive learning environment. In this example, students actually filmed the instructor's demonstration. Next, they assembled to review an illustration of the proper welding technique. At this point, the students actually give it a shot. They're trying their best to look good on camera and outdo their classmates. Next, the students are reconvened at the projector to review their wells and identify the strong points and the weak points.